Hey YouTube, hey Georgia Bigfoot here. I'm making this video because I'm th thinking about it. As y'all know, y'all may have seen some of my videos in the past where we go to Black's Barbecue in Lockhart, Texas. This is the original Black's, opened in 1932, not Terry Black's, which is a brother of these guys. Uh, this is uh, the original Black's um, down there in downtown. Anyway, um, they usually sell if they happen to have it, frozen sausage to go. And it's their links that are normally like $3 in the restaurant, but they sell them for 10 rings for 10 bucks frozen. And I've always traditionally heated them up in the oven. But today I was like, you know, what if I tried them in the air fryer? And so I did this guy for 10 minutes at 360 and it is it's perfect, but it may actually be just a smidge. I may have done it a smidge too long. I probably could have pulled it at like eight minutes. Well, I am eating low carb and this sausage is zero carb. I realize onions has a, have a little bit. I'm gonna use a very sparing amount of sauce. This is Norma Jean's famous barbecue sauce recipe. I don't have a recipe, but that's the sauce. I brought it from Texas as well. Mmm. <laughs> to have that Black's barbecue taste in Georgia right now is phenomenal. It makes me so happy. Let me show you Black's secret. This is a real secret I'm going to share with you guys. Black's uses thin cut best made Chef Supreme slices. And they always have them out on their, their, um, their little bread, sliced bread, onions and pickle bar. And the best made hamburger slices they sell at H-E-B. Might as well be um, the Chef Supreme, I, I just incorrectly called them Best Made, but Dell Dixie and Best Made are the same company. So, if you get quality white onions, in this case, I'm using Vidalia onions because I happen to like Vidalia the most. You reheat your frozen sausage. I did not let the sausage thaw first. It's just frozen through it in the air fryer and boom, in 10 minutes is ready to go. I did flip it once halfway through and I'm able to have the black's taste here in the comfort of my own home. I'll say this, there is an advantage in my mind to taking black's home. And you know what that is? I'll tell you what it is. Back in the old days, I'm an old guy, back in the 70s, when we would eat at Black's, they kept their barbecue sauce in a little crock pot right after you paid at the register. And you would just take a ladle and ladle out the barbecue sauce into a little bowl and it was heated. And then at some point, they quit doing that. It's some sort of health regulation. You can't leave it, do it in that or something. Whatever reason they did, they did that and they, they removed it. So, the sauce they have now is in on the table, you know, little squeeze bottles, which is fine. But I like my sauce heated because that's the way I used to eat it when I was a kid going to Black's in Lockhart. And that's something a lot of people don't know about. I mean, because they discovered Black's just later on in life or when the whole barbecue craze hit, you know, when Aaron Franklin made it really popular in Austin. But, Del Dixie, Hamburger slices are the right thickness, 
They're really thin cut and they have the same flavor profile as the best made Chef Supreme product. But you don't have to buy a five gallon pail and you can get this little jar at HEB for like two bucks. You know, the thing too about the sausage, if I remember right, is you know, when you think of sausage, you think of pork sausage. But if I remember correctly, Black's barbecue sausage is beef sausage. And part of it is the trimmings from their brisket. They grind that up along with some other select cuts of beef and they throw it into a, this homemade casing. And that's where the action is, you know? Mmm, so good. You know what I'm excited about? One, two, three. I got like eight or nine links left. These just have to hold me until later this fall when I head on back that way. Anyway. I appreciate y'all watching, and if y'all have ever been to Black's Barbecue and you have some fond memories of it, share it in the comments. My grandfather had been, worked in um, city uh, politics in a neighboring town, and was really good friends with Judge Black back in the 1930s, and um, our family didn't start eating at Black's Barbecue in 1932 when they opened, but it was sometime in the late 30s. And then when they would drive up to Waco, they'd go through Lockhart and uh, they'd always stop at Black's and eat there. And it's just, I don't know, they're like family. I'm... Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get back to enjoying this and drinking my little Dr. Pepper. In this case, Dr. Pepper Zero. And I hope you all make it a great day. Look at that, you know, one thing I love about black sausage, let me just say this last little bit in addendum, it's got this coarse grind. It doesn't look like a hot dog inside. Anytime I go to any kind of barbecue place and they have sausage and if I slice into it, it's like a really fine grind, it immediately throws a red flag up to me and sort of says to me, it's not homemade. It seems like it's made by a major processor. Whereas these guys, they're just grinding it up and smoking them in the back, you know what I mean? If you ever drive around to the back side of Black's Barbecue, you'll see all the wood stacked up and they're smoking back there. Those guys are making it happen. They know what they're doing. Y'all take care.